Hello my amazing creative friends, Oksansi here again and today we're going to learn how to turn your sketches into vector artwork. So uh, let's go and dive right in. So for this tutorial I created uh, three vector element uh, sketches. So these are three leaves. Since it's springtime, it would be nice to create a nice uh, green uh, pattern with this artwork. So I was thinking to create a pattern and to show you how to turn these into vector uh, graphics. And specifically, I wanted to share how to how, what are different options of turning your sketch into a vector elements. So how to turn a sketch into a vector? There are two different main distinctions between uh, turning a vector a sketch into a vector and it's uh, first is tracing by hand in Adobe Illustrator uh, which I'm going to teach the, in this video and the second one is to live tracing in Adobe Illustrator. So this is coming up in part two of this series where I'm going to turn these uh, leaf elements from uh, this video into a, a, a specific image for live tracing and I'm going to teach you how to do it. So stay tuned for, for part two and please subscribe if you want to um, make sure to see the video. All right, so what are we going to do uh, first? So the first step is to uh, take a photo of your sketch. So I have a photo already uh, I, for this particular, if you're planning to live trace, you, uh, live trace you're going to need a little bit different uh, image work, which I'm going to show in part two. But for this one, you just need a picture. I often use just a, a photo from my mobile phone. So this is a photo and I wanted to show you that it's dark, it's not anything fancy, but it's supposed, it is pretty sharp. So this is the picture that I'm going to use. And I, you don't really need to do anything to it, even though it's not, it's pretty dark, but I will show you that it will work just as well. All right, so what are we are going to do? We are going to go to Adobe Illustrator. We are going to create a new uh, blank uh, artboard, new file. And I already created mine. You do it by file new. And I named mine already. So save the file and then we're going to play start placing our um, our uh, 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 sketch in here all right so we're going to go to file place and next we're going to select this jpeg that i just showed you place all right so i'm going to uh, it's going to load like this I'm going to click and I'm going to scale it down. So I'm scaling it to the uh, point of uh, that the leaves are the approximate size of the elements that I want in my future pattern because I am a textile designer and I'm going to create a pattern uh, later in this series. It's coming up in part three and uh, basically I'm going to create a pattern. So this, this is approximate size of the elements I want. Uh, this is works well for me all right so this is a raster image we are going to what are we going to do next we're going to go to the layer let me see we are going to place your sketch into a new ai file that we just did and three set the sketch layer to template all right this is we are going to do by going into this layer that we just placed it a sketch on double click oh not on the word, yes, you don't want to change the name of the layer, but on the empty side of it. And layer options panel comes up. And you see that this says here template. So if I click on the template, it this is activated dim, dim images too, it automatically sets it to 50%. We're going to click on OK. And you can see that our layer is now automatically locked. There is this the different icon, a rectangle icon on the left now. And this, I, I cannot do anything to the layer now. So this is basically how to place a sketch to use it in the, as a reference in Adobe Illustrator. So we are going to go and create a new layer on top of it by uh, clicking on this create new layer icon. 
and we are going to draw our elements in this layer. All right, let's go to the next step. Let's draw on top of uh, our sketch reference using the following three methods. Method number one, pen tool or uh, keyboard, short, keyboard shortcut P. All right, so for this, I'm going to select this uh, leaf right here and zoom in on it. And I'm going to uh, click on the pen tool. This one, this is he right here, P. Click on the end of the leaf and uh, click on the other. Basically click where the curve comes and drag it out. So I'm not going to go into much detail in this particular video how to use the pen tool, but this is there are different ways how to make these curves, but this is the way that I like to use. And I'm not going to be too precise with my sketch right here, because again, this is a way how I, how I like to work. Okay, but you can definitely look up how to use pen tool uh, with curves, but this is the way that I like to use it. So this way we just created a main shape outline of the leaf with the pen tool. And now we're going to just create a few more um, lines. All right, the same. And I'm smoothing it out, by the way, with the smooth tool. So I make a rough curve and then I use the smooth tool to smooth it out. All right, so this is a basic, very basic shape of our leaf. And if I see here, for example, that there is not lining up properly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my white arrow tool, direct selection tool A or white arrow tool and click on the anchor point uh, that I want to uh, move and move it a little bit. So now it's much more aligned. All right. From this point on, I'm going to speed up uh, the drawing process over the pen tool so that uh, we can finish up the leaf faster but it's definitely a very useful tool. the main uh, elements aligned so uh, I'm going to clean everything up super quick with the, the uh, white arrow to tool the direct selection tool I'm just going in and dragging a specific clicking on the end anchor points and dragging them out so that they are more flow better into each other. This is just a quick way, not how I uh, draw with a pen tool without going to uh, crazy fix because I can just fix things up as I go. So this is the leaf that we I have already here. And to make it more interesting, I'm going to click with the black arrow, the selection tool V. I clicked on the uh, outer outline and I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. Let me see. Yes, I like it. And this medium uh, stem here of the leaf, I'm going to also make a little bit thicker, medium thick. So this is the leaf that we have already created using the pen tool. I'm going to select everything with black arrow to a hit command G to group and here we go. All right, so uh, the next method we are going to use is the blob brush. Blob brush uh, is a brush that is under the paintbrush tool here. Oops. So we click on the paintbrush tool and the blob brush will appear. All right, this is one of my favorite tools. And for this tool, I'm going to be using 
uh, let's draw this leaf right here. All right, so blob brush tool is an interesting tool because it basically uh, creates instead of uh, a stroke with a fill, like you can see here, stroke basically, uh, you can see there's no fill, only stroke, but the blob brush, if I select both of them, you can see that it's basically a pass. So if I click on the blow brush, there is no stroke, only fill. So this is a pass, but it looks uh, kind of like a uh, stroke if you use it for drawing. So this is basically a difference. I have a video that I'm going to leave link in the description and in the info card on this video for the uh, difference between paint brush tool and the br blob brush tool uh, in the, which I recommend watching. All right, so we're going to draw with the blob brush tool. First, let's draw a thicker outline. Let's uh, double click to come bring up the options and let's do a pretty thick outline. Yeah, I think that will work. And for this, I am actually using the my Wacom Intuos tablet for drawing maybe I will go further in this case and this is a very different way of drawing and to be honest I, I am not very too concerned about being too precise and if I don't like something I just going to fix it up later So our rough strokes are done and you can see that there are some mistakes here which always happen. Uh, so in this case to fix the mistakes we are going to use blob brush tool and eraser tool shift plus E uh, on the uh, keyboard. So uh, for example when we have eraser tool you can just go in and uh, clean up here and there if we feel like it's, it's something is needed. So I do not recommend uh, stressing out too much about your lines because you can just go in and fix them up uh, later. All right, if I fix them up a little bit in a rough way, now I'm going to do Command A and I'm going to uh, use again the smooth tool select everything and if I see something that is a little bit uneven at least more than I like to have it because sometimes I like it a little bit kind of a hand-drawn feel to it but in this case I'll clean it up a little bit and if something is a little bit uneven this is what I do all right so we have two leaves uh, which are done and in this case they look different because we made them different ways so these are all strokes and these are all fills all right so the next uh, and the last tool that we can use for turning our sketches into vector by hand is paintbrush tool b so the paintbrush tool b we are going to use to draw this last uh, leaf and paintbrush tool B is also very useful in its own way. So, okay, let me, I need to adjust the brush. To adjust brushes, we are going to go into brushes panel and we are going to just select a round, round brush. Let me see, okay, let me select a bit. Yeah, this one will work. And this is just three point round brush. Zoom in and we're going to draw. Again, for this work, I am using a uh, Wacom Intuos tablet. And for brush tool, again, I, do, I am not stressing out 
much because I can always adjust it later. Alright, and adjust with the white arrow tool. So this is very, this is why I like vector because you can adjust and edit things as I go. All right, from this point on, I'm going to again speed up. All right, you guys, so this, this is again the leaf that we created. And these two are in a way identical because they are consisting of strokes. You can see here, no fill on the stroke. We are going to select this one and group, command G. And these are our leaves too. See the leaves without the sketch. This is, we are just uh, toggle the visibility on the layer. And the same, this is our sketch. And these are our uh, leaves that we created. So uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to color our elements. So they're a little bit different to color. Let's color this one. So in this case, we're going to change the uh, stroke color. Click on the color and they are all changed. Uh, in this case, we're going to change the fill because it was made, created with a blob brush. Click on the, another color. And in this case, again, the stroke. All right, so we have our elements created. Yay. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's coming up next. We're going to make sure that all our elements are grouped and to if you have them grouped then we can move them around and in the future we can create interesting compositions with them just like so all right so uh, this is the end of the tutorial but I just wanted to tell you that in part two videos coming up we are going to share how to live trace this the same leaf elements and how to adjust your sketch for to use in live tracing in Adobe Illustrator and in part three we are going to create a vector repeat pattern design also in Adobe Illustrator so uh, stay tuned for that and please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button next to your subscribe uh, button because this way you're going to be notified when these videos are released. All right, and I wanted to ask you guys, which drawing method is uh, your favorite? Which drawing method in Adobe Illustrator do you feel is most useful and uh, just is easiest for you to use for you? Please share in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial about how to turn your sketches into vector artwork in Adobe Illustrator and now you know a few ways how to go about it. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more tutorials just like this one about uh, Adobe Illustrator, about repeat pattern design and about the business uh, of a creative entrepreneur and textile designer. Uh, thank you so much once again and I see you in the next video. Bye!